you are our new head of house. Guys, a super congratulations to Papa Ghost for winning this evening head of house challenge game. Honestly speaking, I am super happy for Papa Ghost. Automatically, he is the first housemate to enter into week nine of Big Brother and Zamzi season four. Sha Sha. Guys, once more, guys, once more, a super congratulations to Papa Ghost. Honestly speaking, this win was a very, very smart one. Like Papa Ghost used his head. That was why he was able to defeat Sinaye on this. Honestly speaking, guys, I am super happy. I am super proud. I am super really happy for Papa Ghost. Guys, because it has always been near success syndrome, near success syndrome, near success syndrome. But tonight, he finally finally won the head of house game anyways guys just go ahead and watch the interesting juicy gist that i have already downloaded for you all before they started playing the head of house game and i said okay let me just wait for the head of house game to be concluded so that i will incorporate everything together so just enjoy the gist it is quite interesting to watch i think i did a lot of things big brother that compromised myself and my game so people, I, th I thought maybe people were like, you know what, let's just give up on her. She's, let's just give up on her. You know, I was at that point where I'm like, maybe people gave up on me. You know? Guys, a lot have actually happened in Big Brother and Zamji's Info Mansion today. You know, I have been a kind of tight and busy. That's why I've not been releasing videos to explain some of that. Anyways, we are here to, you know, get right into the gist, some of the things that happen. But I promise you guys, in this particular video, some of the things that I'm going to be talking about is Liema's diary section, Mpumi, how Papa Ghost ended up addressing Mpumi. Then we now figured out that Mpumi is not just having a body smell because she wish or because she is not, you know, keeping up with her hygiene. It is because of health issue. That is the reason why she is having the smell. Then Papa Ghost, in addressing Mpumi, decided to put Yolanda on the line guys honestly hey honestly what did they, you really need to watch to the end of this particular video because we are in again for another interesting shocking and unbelievable gist so guys honestly a lot have actually happened so because um head of heart challenge game will be starting very very soon i will try as much as i can you know to talk about these few ones maybe after head of heart challenge game in the midnight, I will now give you a detailed analysis of what happened in Big Brother house today. Honestly, it was a whole lot. It was a whole lot. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And I know you don't want to miss the video that I'm going to be uploading after eviction and nomination video so let me officially welcome you all to my channel if you are new to this channel if you've been enjoying my video if you are a returning viewer please 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 and please and please subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell button and do not forget to like and share this video that is the only way you keep this ministry moving so big brother have finally gave punishment to the housemates that the evicted housemate true dagger at so the punishment that big brother gave young papi honestly speaking i don't know why big brother decided to give him that punishment he is to massage everybody <laughs> and he started with z anyways let me just let me just skip that part you know some of the things that happened today i really need to skip them so that we can quickly talk about the thing that i'm about to talk in this particular video honestly Lema's diary section was also emotional at some point i was just like yo Lema is just a sweet soul she is just a pure soul that you know she like pouring out her mind she like saying how she feel about things just that in most cases when she is having issues with people she tend to lie she 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 she, she tend to you know add salt and pepper to make her storyline very very sweet but aside that i think she's a very sweet soul and when she sits down like this and think and calculate her problem with people you know she tends to take responsibility wherever she feels that she is wrong honestly speaking i think honestly watching lima's diary section today it really gave me another perception about lima basically because of some of the things she said about else and jerry's eviction so let's quickly touch that during her eviction i now 
come to find out that it is based on Lima's confidence that she knew that she is a strong contender in that game. It is not because of the fact that she is sure or she is production pet. She has big brothers backing. That is why she knows that she is a strong contender. No, it is basically because of her game that she knows that, you know, she is a very, very strong contender in the game. So when Big Brother asked her about how she felt about Jared and Elle's eviction, she said she feel happy, she feel sad, like she felt the two emotions, like the happy and sad. She does not even know what to feel about that. But for Elle, basically, she felt very, very happy that Elle was evicted. But for Jared, she does not like the fact that Jared was evicted from the house, but it is what it is. And when Big Brother now asks her, if you are given opportunity to say one last thing to these two evicted housemates, what would that be? Lima first of all said, Big Brother, do not bring them back. <laughs> Big Brother, do not bring them back. So when she told Big Brother to please do not bring them back, she now started saying what she was going to say to Jerry if she is given an opportunity to talk to Jerry. Here are some of the things she said she would be telling Jerry if she has the opportunity to speak to him for the one last time. In another lifetime, buddy. In another lifetime. And I hope we really, really, really do try to find, an, you know, a general consensus and a great relationship. For Jared, she said, in another lifetime, oh yes, in another lifetime, I'm like, okay, okay, which one is in another lifetime again, that she hopes that they find a general consensus, they have a great relationship. Then she will go ahead and tell him that she loves him like mad, she loves him like crazy, and she has forgiven him for all the things he did to her. Then for else, she said that if she have the opportunity to talk to else for the last time, here are some of the things she will be telling else. I know you haven't forgiven me for the first encounter of our fight, so that's why you have not been genuine to me from you know the beginning. But I understand. I understand where you're coming from. I understand you as a person, and I understand the way you wanted to retaliate. Guys, honestly speaking, some of the things Lima said about S really made me to like her the more. Guys, the reason I said so is that everything she said about S and some of the things that have happened between she and S recently, she attributed it to the fact that S is still trying to retaliate for what she did to S by spitting on her face the day she fought S and Jared. Guys, honestly speaking, I really think that, you know, she taking accountability, taking responsibility of her own wrong and seeing it from the perspective of else retaliating for the wrong she have did to her in the past honestly speaking i really think that that was a very very smart and brave move and that was humanly that was what someone with a pure soul could do honestly speaking i was thinking that she was going to be condemning her saying all manner of bad and ill thing about else but this time around Though she was happy that S was evicted from the house, but she still feel that all the things that Elves did to her was basically because of the way she treated Elves. And that was her taking accountability and responsibility of all the things she already did to Elves that warranted Elves retaliating badly. Honestly speaking, she still feel that even though friendship do not work out between she and the else in the house that outside the house friendship might even work out for both of them guys the way she spoke of else i really think that it was someone who is selfless that can do something like that and i was also so happy and proud of lima for doing just that Meanwhile, guys, Papa Ghost finally had a conversation with Mpumi concerning her body odor in the house. Then, while having that conversation or before having that conversation, Papa Ghost made sure that he condemned and painted Yolanda bad in the presence of Mpumi to make it seem as though it was Yolanda that made him want to have that conversation with her, which I feel it is absolutely wrong papa ghost painting yolanda bad before passing some of the things that have been bothering them for weeks in fact before yolanda started speaking on 
Boom Miss Hygiene. Lerato and Papa Ghost have been on this case for weeks. They have been speculating it. They have been talking about it. They have been, the way they have been saying it and singing it in that house, we've been here dragging and kicking against the way they have been talking about it. So I do not see any reason why he should have, first of all, paint Yolanda bad, saying that the reason why he wanted to talk to Mpumi about that is that Yolanda might want to use it to trigger her because that is what Yolanda is good at. Yo! Yo! So the thing is, camera did not capture the moment when the conversation happened between Mpumi and Yolanda. I did not see. Probably if the camera captured it, I wasn't watching as at the time Papa Ghost had the conversation with Mpumi. It was when he was not telling Lerato how he was able to speak to Mpumi about her hygiene in the house that we now figured out that, okay, at least someone had finally talked to Mpumi about other things every other housemate we are not able to speak to her about. Then Lerato wanted to find out how, in fact, when he told Lerato that he has finally spoken to Mpumi about it, Lerato was shocked and surprised as Lerato was curious to find out how he managed to do that. That was when he opened his mouth and said that he told Mpumi about it. And the way he started was he told Mpumi that Yolanda might want to use her body odor to trigger her so she should be careful with the way she do things she should handle her hygiene properly so that yolanda will not trigger her with it because that is what yolanda is good at i was just like yo yo papa ghost why will you do something like that that is assassination of character well we'll elaborate more on that in our next video all the housemates know in fact Today, Yolanda had a conversation with Sinaye and Liema and she said the reason why she have not told Mpumi anything about that is because of the fact that she does not want it to come across wrongly that the way she might say it, she might say it wrongly. In fact, she was even advising Sinaye to go and speak to Mpumi about it because she feels that Sinaye might handle it better and properly. And I believe that all of them in that house knows that that is a very, very sensitive discussion and anybody that wants to bring up that discussion with Mpumi should be should handle it maturely right so why was uh, Papa Ghost trying to assassinate Yolanda's character just to make Mpumi feel all right about a condition and circumstances that have been bothering them over weeks if you want to have a conversation there is nothing wrong with having a conversation with mpumi about your perception about her hygiene it is not left for her to tell you the reason or fight you you going about assassinating another person's character is quite wrong it's absolutely wrong well away from that Papa Go said during the conversation, Mpumina told him that it is a health condition that her parents have looked for solution for, but they couldn't get solution to that problem. That it is a glandular. Guys, honestly speaking, right now I cannot pronounce the health condition they called it, but they said it is a health condition. You see why it is not good to laugh at people. You see why it is good for you to have conversation with people before you go about speculating and carrying narrative. This is where I'll be ending this particular video, guys.